is going on everybody i hope everyone is having a great day this video is going to be about rails model validations and how you can make your data have the correct data and not have some wonky data that you can't work with including numbers emails and other cer other certain types of validation we're going to start off here in a brand new rails project that i just made with rails new and we're going to make a scaffold so we generate a form and a model and so i'm going to do rails g for generate scaffold and we're just going to make it very simple and we're going to make an animal an animal is going to have a name and it's going to have an age which is going to be an integer that's why we do colon integer name doesn't need anything because it's string by default and we're going to have a bio and that's going to be text and then that's it for now maybe we'll make it have an email as well so right there i create the scaffold it makes all these files and since it created the migration for us we're going to run rake db migrate before we get into the actual coding so now i'm going to go into my directory the first thing i'm going to do is go to my routes file quickly so that i can make this the root of my directory so when i go to localhost 3000 i don't have to worry about anything so i made it animals slash index which is a path made for me by the resources um, command right above it and now we're going to go to the animal.rb file so this is our model fire a model file our class that defines the animals okay so right now what we can do is we have a form that allows us to submit new animals but we want to make sure that you can only have an animal that's between the ages of, let's go from one to 10. So we're gonna do validates age with as a symbol, so colon age, and then we're gonna do inclusion. So I'm gonna say that age must include the numbers one through 10, okay? And if otherwise, this is going to fail. So now I'm gonna jump over to another tab in my validations directory, and I'm gonna run Rails S the server and we are going to go over here to our localhost we are going to then see we have the listed animals none are created so we're going to create a new animal i'm going to make one called my name aj we're going to make it 11 years old which is out of the inclusion i'm going to give it a bio i'm going to give it a random email and i'm going to create the animal and age is not included in the list so i get a validation error because i did not include the right age. So now I'm going to make it 10. And when I do that, I am still going to get a error because I excluded 10. I didn't, I need to do dot dot to include 10. So as you can see now, the animal was successfully created and it would be created from anything from one through nine. So now if I go back, I have an animal. That's pretty cool. So now back to the code, that's a pretty easy number validation. So if you want to make sure, oh, hey, this num you need a number to be between some certain length, you can do that, okay? So another thing we can do is, let's say we wanted our, the name of the animal to be a certain length. So I wanted the name, I would put validates name, and then I would use the length parameter. And in the length parameter, you can do a few things. You have to give it another hash because you can give it multiple options. So length colon, and then give it a dic hash in Ruby, also known as a dictionary in many other languages. And you can do a few things. You can say is colon four to make sure the name length is four, or you can do in colon to make sure the distance is between a certain thing. In this case, six and 20, five and 20. So I can say, okay, the, the length of the name has to be between five and 20. And when I mean length, I mean number of characters. Unlike a number, which is inclusion, which means it must include the numbers one through nine. Okay, length is in character length, so five letters to 20 letters. Okay, another thing you can do is you can just set the minimum. So I can just say minimum two, so you can't have more than two letters, and you can also do the same thing for maximum. Okay, so let's go, let me go here for a second, let's do new animal, and let me just make my name A. Uh, a and we'll make the age three give it a 
interesting bio and interesting email won't do much and then name is too short so see it says name is too short minimum of two characters so we need to make it more characters and i will we will create the new animal a i i e maybe i should be more creative in these videos something i lack is creativity guys you will learn if you watch enough of these videos with me but i'm all about the logical information okay so those are two very important things you can do the length you can do a minimum i will include a link to all the validations in the description below okay another thing you can do is you can validate other you can validate other properties along with your field so i have a validation for age and name but i can also add on to this so what i could do is I could say for the name, I could say validate uniqueness. So that means that only this name exists in our database. So I can say uniqueness true so that it knows to, val to check this name against all other names and make sure that I did not create another one. So I have a name called AJ. Let's try creating another animal with AJ. I'm going to give it H2, bio, lives in a tree, email AJ at a.com animal name has already been taken so I said I gave it my uniqueness attribute hey the name has already been taken otherwise I could have done that I could have created another model with the name of AJ which in most cases you may want to allow I'm sure like Facebook there's a lot of people with the same names on Facebook but it's just something to think about okay so we've got age we've got in uniqueness something we also want to have right here is let's say lead is let's start validating bio and one thing we definitely want to do is validate the presence of bio so what i'm saying here is that we have a bio but we actually at this current point in time we do not need to fill out the bio field to create our model but we're going to say hey you need to not be nil the bio field needs to not be blank and so now when i create a new animal and I go to new animal. Let's say I try to create an animal. Let's do age uh, Bob or name Bob, age four. And then let's do it without a bio. And then say, and now I get an error that says bio can't be blank. Boom. Okay. Pretty nice. Pretty easy. Um, don't have any problem with that. And so it says, oh, you have to fill out this field. And now one thing you could do is see you have to fill it out, but but then you could use maybe the length attribute to say, hey, you need a length of 10 characters, 500 characters. I want you to write an actual story here. So you can see how this stuff matters, or you, this stuff can count on, even though you could just have the length parameter and not the presence parameter. But hey, I just need something here. Make sure you include it, okay? Now we're going to get to the email field. So validates email now email usually unlike other things have certain formats and so you need to make sure that well you have a format too so one thing you can do is use the format parameter so you can say i want a format and then i want it with you have to give it format and then give it a hash and then you can give it rejects token so i could do something like dot slash at sign dot star so if if you guys don't know rejects i highly suggest looking it up i may have to do a tutorial on that and i do have a tutorial on my channel the dot is any character this dot resembles any character and the star means um the repeat an unlimited repeats of the character before it so i'm saying you can have as many characters before the at sign and as many characters after the at sign if it's complicated i'm not going to go too much into it rejects definitely is complicated i had to take a class on it in college college taught me so much now you can look all this up online in five seconds if you want to um nothing is impossible so i'm going to do name i'm going to do chris name age uh let's make it four bio we're going to make it something and let me see let me make the animal this and so email is invalid let me just do email at ou um let's do i'll do bob at vt.ed where i went to college so i'm going to create the animal and so now boom so before it said the email was invalid but now i have it so basically i made the format so it has to include an at sign and if you definitely want more descriptive email 
for matters, you can look it up. But as you can see now, I say, oh, this text and email, it's just text, has to follow these rules. It has to have an at sign. Maybe it has to have a dot com. But, you know, some emails have dot edu, but it, maybe if, if you, you know, you have a learning website, you want it to have a dot edu. It can only have a dot edu. Like. I'm building so that's something really a cool website right okay. now that is going to be launched with really all my Rails really tips so they're ni nicely organized and all my notes on them. So, guys, I hope you have the best day of your lives. And like this video if you really appreciate it. It helps me. helps you. And have the best day of your lives.